Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Amethyst Desmond Mason. This card is free. He is in the path to all-star collection, but I'm going to be completely honest. He's not that exceptional on paper. I look at him. He looks like a freak athlete, but everything else looks... Honestly, kind of mediocre. He looks fine as a shooter, um, like a pretty decent okay shot creator, but nothing too insane. Defensively, uh, a little bit of a letdown, I'll be completely honest. So I'm not insanely excited about the potential of this card being like one of the best shooting guards in the game or anything, but we're going to try him out. He is the updated free card uh, for Path to All-Star, and we will have two more Amethysts coming this week, tomorrow and Thursday, and then five diamonds starting Friday, next Monday through Thursday, and then next Thursday we'll also have the final pink diamond player reward for completing Path to All-Star. So make sure you're staying caught up on this. To get this Desmond Mason, all you got to do is get 10 rebounds with the Kenneth Fareed that was yesterday's reward. And yeah, that's it. So I got the card in my account and he is a six foot five, 92 offense, 92 defense, 92 driving layup, uh, 92 close shot, 89 mid range, 85 three ball, 85 free throw, 85 standing and 97 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 85 pass accuracy. Defensively fine, but not incredible. I will admit uh, 90 speed, 88 speed ball, 85 excel, 98 vert, low strength though. 87 lateral quickness is fine. 95 stamina is good. Um, three Hall of Fame badges include fast twitch posterizer precision dunker unsurprisingly exceptional slasher 27 gold batters also include catch and shoot corner specialist screen machine guard up handles for days hyperdrive challenger chase down risk glove off while pest pogo stick um, scooper whistle free points blow by physical handles no speed booster though and no clamps those are huge, huge badge omissions for a shooting guard at this point. Not to mention no limitless range and other badges like that. Overall, this card is just not that impressive on paper badge and stat and badge wise. The one thing he does have going for him is elite athleticism. So he does have that aspect. And also I will say the release is really nice. So there is some offensive aspects of this card that are definitely positive with his slashing being as elite as they are and his release being very, very nice. He's got Tim Hardaway Jr. base. It's really nice. Now, movement isn't incredible on the card, but release is super good this is what paul pierce's release should have looked like in this game instead of the garbage release they gave paul pierce they should do something like this because this release looks pretty similar to paul pierce's release but it's much quicker and much smoother really really nice jump shot to be completely honest so i think desmond mason like will be a pretty good catch and shoot shooter and off the dribble could be decent as well and athletically obviously as a slasher he is absolutely exceptional um the problem with the card is defensively no clamps is kind of a killer no speed booster hurts as well when it comes to playmaking and overall i just don't think he's going to be that incredible good card but probably not exceptional at all at the shooting guard position especially with the lack of defense so let's hop into a game see what desmond mason can do all right now we can hop into the offensive end of the court desmond mason's best attribute by far is his slashing so that is what we're going to go to in this gameplay a lot if we can space the floor here make sure we get our freelance right and let's get a pick and pop roll at least he's got handles for days so he's got some shot creation ability for sure did not mean to do that that was bad oh my okay we got an open three it's okay we got a good luck out of it and i smoked it anyway i suck Oh my gosh, slightly late with Oscar. My bad. I got to be better. It's okay. Um, I need Desmond Mason to try his best defensively because I don't know how much defense he really has in all honesty. I like the rejection of the screen there. And, and oh, they called a foul on KP. Okay. This dude's a good player. He knows what he's doing. Um, I should have made that three ball last possession. I got myself a really good shot and I missed it. Um, I Desmond Mason was going towards the rim. He was going to get a stick dunk. And then I tried to stick dunk and he did a step back. Not totally sure why. I didn't. I thought I was close enough and in the path of the rim enough to stick dunk and get the dunk, but apparently not. Um, I'm dotting. Oh my. Okay, I'm not dotting. I throw. I threw the ball to seven for forty. Why am I trying to? I suck. I'm not even gonna lie. I suck for that. That's a bad play by me. Very bad play. We got the board though. Got the stop and throw it up to Desmond. All right, transition take maybe. No, not a transition take foul. No points yet at all on the board in the first minute and twenty seconds of this game. Admittedly, going up against definitely a sweaty opponent, but not really what you're looking for. Generally speaking, um, on the offensive end of the court to start a game play. Uh, attack the rim. There we go. Desmond Mason all the way. Let's go. That is where he is at his best. Is attacking the rim and he does a great job there and gets up on that rim for his first bucket of the game. Great dunk by Mr. Mason. Uh, as much as he does have a height advantage here with Magic, I think Oscar Robertson, for the most part, can, part, can definitely compete defensively. Like He's going to do enough defensively to make Magic work, and that's amazing defense right there. Getting the stop. Throw it up to Tyson Chandler. Tyson attacking the rim. Tyson getting inside, and Tyson will kick it out to uh, Desmond Mason here. Uh, drag back here. Attack here, and get to the rim again. Desmond Mason. Yup. Beautiful stuff. Just got to get around the screen and get towards that rim. That is where I'm trying to get to, and that is where he's going to be at his best. A 
attacking the rim. It is nice when he at least has that one elite attribute, and uh, Desmond Mason certainly has that with his slashing. Uh, that's a good layup there. Wemby just wasn't contested enough by anybody. This dude does not seem very skillful with the way that he plays, though. I'm going to be completely honest. No disrespect, but, well, kind of disrespect. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, shot, Oscar wide open, green, easy bucket. I'm taking my open three every single time. When it's that easy, I'm just going to take the three ball, and Oscar knocks it down. Very good shot right there. Uh, again, wall up, play D. Okay, that should have been a steal for Scotty. It's all right. We're good. Desmond Mason, this is where I'm beautiful. We got to stop. And now he's running the floor. And you know who that is. That's Desmond. Ooh, draw foul. Let's go. Beautiful. We'll take that. I could have kicked to the corner for a wide open three and probably should have, but I thought I was going to get a dunk. I did not. But I get free throws, and free throw release is nice. He does have free points as well, so should be pretty much automatic from the free throw line, and both of them are absolutely cash. Desmond Mason playing well right now with six points. That's one thing I will say. Even a card that does have some weaknesses and some deficiencies, if they have one thing they're exceptional at and you can take advantage of that, like Desmond Mason does, it can still make them a viable card if you use them properly. Uh, now, obviously, he's not a great defender at all. No clamps is not great on the defensive end. I would not really recommend using him simply for that reason, but if he was a pretty good defender, I think he'd be pretty useful. Usable, uh, despite not being the greatest shooter or shot creator in the entire world. You know what I mean? Because, uh, again, the release is pretty good. Now, hit the pop here and get it back to Desmond Mason. He's just standing in his corner. If I can just get a nice little screen here from Tyson Chandler and get around the screen just a little bit. Yep, he's standing in his corner. I'm going to the rim. you got to get out your corner. Otherwise, I'm going to go get myself a dunk every single play. And Desmond Mason is making plays right now. Love and what I am seeing. Steal. Come on. Throw it up to uh, Tyson. Throw it to Scotty. Scotty back door to Desmond. Desmond. Yeah, reset it up top. Desmond Mason and stop dot no chill back door he's he's gassed it's okay he's gassed i gotta i gotta chill we gotta reset the ball let's reset the ball here come here desmond come set me a nice little screen we're resetting the ball we're getting an open three we're stopping we're popping scotty p let's go good shot scotty pippen nine point lead this magic johnson hard off ball in the corner bs that you're trying to do is not the answer man sitting on your center and trying to mash me on offense with your tall guard and just throwing brain dead passes like this is not skillful and we are cooking right now love what i'm seeing right now playing absolutely amazing 2k attack the ram here i really had a dunk there but i want a three ball with Desmond Mason if I could get it that'd be nice uh unfortunately it's not looking like that's gonna happen we'll draw a foul and go back to the free throw line chance to get double digits and points we will take that uh first free throw is up and should be good um 82 percent even with I don't actually have free points anymore so free percentage is not gonna be as high because we're up so much but still 78 and 82 percent both of them go down 17 to 6 lead this has been mighty impressive. I understand this is not the best card in the world, but this is a great example of if a card is really good at something like slashing and you are able to take advantage of it and put them in a good position to do it, uh, they can still be very effective. Kind of the way that Kyle Korver is as a shooter, you know what I mean? Uh, Desmond Mason is an absolutely elite level slasher, and if I put him in a situation to succeed as a slasher, he will do a great job, and he's done an immaculate job doing that in this game. I did not mean to shoot a pull-up mid-range. That was supposed to be another stick dunk, but I still greened it. We'll take it. Desmond Mason green is the mid-range. Beautiful front fade. This dude is terrible. He's just trying to throw back doors. He is garbanzo beans. Come on, Desmond. Oh my goodness. And what? I wish they gave me the contact slam animation, but I'll take a green and one layup. Desmond Mason is just absolutely dominating right now. Again, this card's not elite. He doesn't have great shot creation or defensive ability, and his shooting isn't insane either. He's not an insane card, but if you use him properly, he can still be very good, especially as a slasher. Slashing specifically is one of those skill sets I feel like that is really, really useful if you use it properly. Just an absolutely dominant performance, though, by Desmond Mason. Even getting a steal there. Like, this is the best gameplay you could possibly get with a card like Desmond Mason, honestly. Because he's not that insane of a card, but he looks amazing in this game right now and i'm just saying that's stick dunking man look at the green free throws everything is flowing desmond mason is automatic in every aspect 24 to 6 lead this dude isn't even like that well he's actually pretty bad at the game i thought he was decent when the game started but he has uh shown me otherwise to be completely honest the hard off ball defense is not the strat and desmond mason just literally gets up on that rim and dunks every single play 19 points one steal six of six from the field a bunch of free throws as well amazing amazing performance by desmond mason i am so impressed i hope y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon i appreciate y'all peace